Hello, I'm Steve Reinhars, CEO of Artificial Intelligence Technology Solutions. Guys, we're going to hit some highlights. We're going to talk a little bit about 2021, which was a huge year for us. So much progress. Uh, you can find it in the infographic below, some of the highlights of progress that we had. But our focus is turning to 2022. We're just days away from the new year. And I want to take a moment to preview all that we've got coming in 2022. As good as 2021 was for the business, I think 2022 is going to be better. But obviously, we will recalibrate in 12 months and measure against it. But anyway, let's see what we've got going. Often, this messaging is for the AITX investor community. This particular messaging, I want to gear more towards our existing clients and prospects. I want to thank you guys. I want to continue to serve and deliver incredible solutions to you throughout the course of 2022. And you know that you've got my gratitude and our entire team's gratitude. Thank you very, very much. All right, let's look into the future at 2022 and see what we've got going. Number one, Romeo, rolling out of the factory as I say these words. We're actively deploying the initial, uh, you know, orders that we have. I expect that this month we'll have a unit in Texas and another in California. Uh, and speaking of California, uh, our casino client, our Casino Romeo client is uh, in Northern California. So I guess California is going to have two units and folks that are up north can go visit it at the casino and folks that are in the south can visit it at the amusement park. That's pretty fun. Anyway, Romeo interest off the charts. Very, very, very fun. Big numbers for us as a company, big ROI and other benefits to our end users. I love it. That's Romeo. Number two, since the big guy is out, we're ramping up development of our first quadruped unmanned ground vehicle. And uh, it's, a, it's a dog. It's a robot dog, guys. Okay. But, you know, technically a QUGV. Um, calling it Rad Dog right now, there is another name that I really like. So we're going to have a runoff competition between Rad Dog and this other name sometime in the next, I don't know, week or so, plus or minus, who knows. But uh, in any case, I'll be looking for uh, community involvement with that name. Now, uh, just as I've mentioned before, we're non-military, we're security and safety focused, uh, and this is going to supplement what Romeo can do uh, and provides uh, some functions that Romeo can't do. You'll see a lot more about Rad Dog or whatever the end, ending final name is in the coming months. And speaking of safety and security, Rad Like My Way, which, you know, is probably one of my favorite solutions that we have. It's tough for me to judge, though, because, you know, I think all of our solutions provide great value in different ways. Rad Like My Way is a favorite because it touches a lot of people in the safety aspect that none of our other products do. So it's really exciting for us. Rad Light My Way integrates all Rad devices uh, into a single platform and subscribing clients can place the control of the Rad units into the palms of the hands of their employees or staff members or students. It's the only solution of its kind and it's crazy exciting for us. Of course, you know, with the push of a button on the Rad uh, Light My Way app, Rad units come alive. They scare off and engage bad guys, so to speak. They let the, the good folks know what's happening, gives them that knowledge and that situational intelligence, alerts remote monitoring services, remote staff. There's a lot of things at an incredible value. I think Rad Light My Way will be huge. Of course, CBRE, 
gave us an award because they think so too. So Rad Light My Way is going to be huge. Let's talk about our best seller, Rosa. Rosa 3.0 units are in the final stages of production preparation. We're doing some small batch uh, production runs to start with in the 25, 20 to 25 uh, unit runs to start. But I expect by the end of January, I will confirm that we are ordering 1,000 Rosa 3.0 shells and going into a standard serial production schedule for the devices, which is a huge jump for any company to go uh, into that stage. It's a big, big, big deal. Of course, we're super excited. I'm excited about the things that Roses do for customers. Uh, all the stories that we get, all the feedback we get of Rosa solving customer problems. So that's, that's a big, big, big deal for 2022. I expect, hey, maybe hopefully hundreds of units uh, deployed throughout the year, maybe a thousand. I don't know, we don't know, we don't know, but we're gonna try. Now, next up is Ava. Uh, Ava has undergone a complete 3.0 makeover. Uh, one of the more complete makeovers that the devices have done in their upgrade to 3.0. Ava goes from having a portrait mounted screen to a landscape mounted screen, all new GUI, all new hardware, the whole deal. Very, very, very excited on this application. And of course, we've built its own stanchion, uh, which is really, I would say, a reinvention of the stanchion category. Now, not necessarily the most exciting of all product categories out there, but uh, really the stanchion business has been a pole uh, mounted in the ground forever. And uh, not good enough for us. This is 2022. We need intelligent poles that, you know, are easier to work with for customers, regardless of the vehicle they, they pull up in. And that's Stan, uh, and that's a big deal. Stan uses Ava's intelligence to autonomously adjust uh, in order to make it convenient for users to, uh, to use the system. That's a big deal. That's a really big deal. Um, now it's technical and it's industry limited, you know, primarily to the logistics industry. I think that we'll see it in high-end residential communities and HOAs um, because I think it's an object of desire. So that's Ava. Now let's look at Scott. Scott stands for our Security Control Observation Tower, our first product. Uh, and you know, we're introducing Scott 3.0 in 2022. It, you know, I love 2.0, by the way. 2.0 is a huge upgrade over 1.0. And 3.0, I think, pretty much perfects the idea. Uh, seven feet tall, we got the full 360 degree viewing, we got the new cameras, we got a bigger, you know, interface platform, touch interface platform. As much as 2.0 was magnificent, uh, 3.0 brings an element of majesty. To that device so 3.0s and of course they fit so well with rad light my way and the rest of the line and if that wasn't enough in 2022 we expect to release our first mobile robot outside of the security industry of course this is the delivery industry this is going to be i'm, I'm we're going to release more details on it in the coming months Right now, it was important that I share with people that it has been requested by a couple different customers or by a handful of different customers, significant clients, and we're, you know, obviously we work hard for our clients and they want something, it's in our wheelhouse, we're going to produce it for them. Uh, I will share with you that internally there is a movement inside RAD to call the delivery vehicle Dave as in a uh, delivery assistance vehicle. Uh, jury is out, uh, but I don't know. It's Dave for the moment, we shall see. It'll have hot and cold storage compartments. Uh, it's gonna be a labor-saving device, a convenience device, a cost-saving device. It's gonna be fascinating, fascinating. And it puts us into a new orbit. 
So very, very exciting. We'll see where that goes. I hope you enjoyed this brief 2022 preview. Uh, many of you probably already knew uh, what we've got coming down. We're obviously very communicative, but for those who are new to AITX, welcome. Uh, looking for a huge year across the board. Uh, and I certainly enjoyed sharing this with you uh, this evening. So thank you very much. This year's New Year's resolution at AITX and all the subsidiaries is the same as last year's, which is the same as the year before, which is basically keep the pedal to the metal, work as hard as we can, deliver great solutions to great customers, and share our progress and triumphs along the way. That's where we're at. We wish you a very happy new year, a safe evening and weekend. Thank you for your support. I'll see you in 2022.